everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a long wearing makeup tutorial. Kind of like a get ready with me, but I'm going to be chatting with you because I haven't done one of these videos in a while. So I'm going to be using some very long wearing products today. <laughs> and I am so excited to use these because they're so new to me. These are from Scandinavia and I'm going to get started with this. This is the Scandinavia the Makeup Primer Spray and it's oil control. This doesn't contain any silicone so it doesn't just sit on top of your skin which is really good I I actually don't like silicone based primers and I love this just because it's so lightweight it doesn't feel very heavy or sticky or slippy you just spray it on your face that's it you don't have to spread anything around your face so it's just very simple quick and it's perfect for lazy girls so <laughs> that's why I've been really loving this and the way you apply this primer spray you do an X and then a T. So it's very simple. X, T, and you're done with priming. Now we're going to wait for this to just dry a little. The mist is so fine so it honestly shouldn't take that much time for it to settle in and dry. And one thing I forgot to mention, you gotta shake it well, and I did that before <laughs> filming this video. I shook it well, and then you spritz it on. Let's move on to my face. And I'm going to be using very lightweight products. I just don't like putting a lot of makeup during the summer. So I'm going to be using the Glossier Stretch Concealers, like I mentioned in my June favorites. This is medium, this is deep, this is going to be my concealer slash foundation. And this is going to be my contour shade. So I'm just going to begin applying it on areas where I want to conceal. Then I'm just going to kind of spread it a little bit around the face just so it gives me a little bit of coverage. One of the things that I have noticed with the priming spray is that it works really well with oily skin. Since it's oil free, it doesn't contain silicone, it just works really well with my skin type which is perfect. It also contains vitamin E and antioxidants so it actually has some skincare properties inside. And this is just perfect if you're someone like me that honestly can't be fuzzed with kind of spreading another layer of product. You know, sometimes the primers kind of look and resemble a cream and I don't know, I'm just lazy sometimes. So I just prefer this. It's a lot more convenient. Now I'm going to just blend out the concealer using a beauty blender type sponge. This one I got in an Ipsy bag <laughs> some months ago. And the reason why I'm using this is because it creates a very natural and almost like melted look. So it looks very natural on the skin. If you need a little bit more coverage, then you can just build it up just a little bit. I'm going to build it up here and then I have some blemishes on my jaw. Now for the contour, I'm going to take the deep shade in just my finger and I'm going to literally stripe it on on the hollows of the cheek. And if you don't own the Glossier stretch concealers or if these are out of your budget, you can also use this technique with any other concealer. It can be drugstore, high-end, whichever concealer that you want. Like you can easily do it with the Maybelline Fit Me concealers as well. I think that would be a great option, but I just stripe it on. And then I'm going to use the sponge again to just blend it out. If you want just a little bit more of like a bronze look, then you can just take it a little bit on the side as well as right here, just a little bit. Now for my cheeks, I'm going to be using another product that I mentioned in my June favorites. This is the Seraphine Botanicals Guava Butter Lip and Cheek Stain. I'm going to take just a little bit on my fingertip, just dot it on, and we're going to blend it out using the same sponge. This cream blush smells so good. That's one of the things that I love about natural products. They usually have a really pleasant scent. If you don't have a beauty blender type sponge, you can also blend out cream blushes with the e.l.f. small stipple brush or you can just use your fingers. Sometimes I just do it all with my fingers. I'm gonna go just a little bit heavier. I just kind of feel like it, I don't know. <laughs> and if you want to, just 
stipple some on your nose. The next thing I'm going to use is another thing that I mentioned in my June favorites, but this is the other shade. So this is the Glossier Halo Scope. This one is in Topaz, which is the bronzy one. And I'm going to be using this as bronzer. I am just going to stripe it on. I'm just going to be applying this how I would apply a regular bronzer. So I'm kind of doing that three and E shape. Apply it just a little bit here. Let's do just a little bit on the nose. And once again, I am going to use the same sponge. I mentioned this in a recent blog post. I titled it Five Products for the Lazy Girl or something like that. These are just perfect. If you're lazy to be like getting a bunch of brushes out or you're too lazy to even wash your hands, just get a sponge. It's so simple. You don't have to get something as expensive as a beauty blender. You can go the Real Techniques route. Um, this, I believe, is also kind of more affordable. There's a bunch of other different options, so this is just perfect if you're lazy. Now I'm going to set my makeup just a little bit, not too much, using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Now I'm going to move on to the eyes and I'm going to keep them very, very simple. I'm not adding any eyeshadow, I'm just going to go in with a winged eyeliner. But first I'm going to curl them, which is kind of weird, I usually do it after, but I'm going to do it first this time. And for my eyeliner, I'm going to be using two Inglot products, actually three with the brush. So this is the eyeliner gel, this is just a black one. Then I'm also going to be using the Duraline, which is supposed to make everything waterproof. I'm still playing around with this, but this lasts really well on its own. And I'm using just the angled brush. <laughs> I guess that's what it's called. So I'm going to just create a very simple winged eyeliner that I've done in a lot of videos, so that's why I'm not really zooming in. And the way I'm going to use this, I'm going to take just a little bit of the gel eyeliner on the brush and I just added a drop here on the cap of the Duraline and I'm going to just create like a paste and this is what I'm going to be applying as my eyeliner. I have to be really careful with this because <laughs> it is very liquidy so I'm going to take my time to do this little winged eyeliner. Oh this is a lot easier than what I was expecting. This is going on so smooth like you have no idea. Do you see my face? <laughs> oh my god. I make the weirdest eyeliner face. I'm struggling with the wing. I need to just take a moment. <sighs> okay, let's go. And if it's not 100% perfect, just grab a Q-tip or your finger if you're too lazy. Clean up the edge or your sponge again. <laughs> now that I finished up with the winged eyeliner, I'm going to move on to brows and I'm going to be using the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Black. This is still my holy grail eyebrow product. Like, I cannot find anything that's good enough as the Boy Brow. And I can't find a better shade than this black one. It's just perfect for my brow hairs. For mascara, I'm going to be taking a waterproof mascara. This is the Bourjois Volume Glamour Max, which is one of my favorite mascaras. I barely use this. Like, I keep it really tight. I <laughs> only use it when I really need it, just because this is very long-wearing. So, it's going to be perfect for the fair. And the last makeup item that I'm going to be adding is, of course, a lip color. I'm going to be using this lipstick by Besame Cosmetics. And this one's in the shade Car Carmine. Carmine? <laughs> I think it's Carmine. And I'm going to use this technique that I actually learned from Lisa Eldridge to create a very long-lasting lip color. I actually used this technique when I graduated three years ago. What? I graduated from college three years ago. That's crazy. But I used this technique and this lip, this red lip, lasted the whole day so this is going to be very long lasting and hopefully it will last through some greasy fair food so we'll see so what you're going to need is a lip color and a lip brush and also 
a tissue paper. We're going to be working in really thin layers just to create a stain, then create more color, and then finally build up the color to the max. So like I said, the first layer is the staining. So you really want to make sure you work the product into your lips. You really want to create that stain. If you work the lip color really well into your lips, you shouldn't get too much transfer like in this case. Let's do layer number two. And the final layer I'm going to be applying straight out of the bullet. You could leave the lipstick with the demi matte finish that it naturally has. It actually feels super comfortable on the lips and it lasts really well. But I'm going to just blot one more time so I can get more of a matte finish. And as you can see, they really don't get that much transfer, which I really like. These are really nice lipsticks. It was my first time trying one of the Best of May Cosmetics lipsticks, and I, I'm hooked. I am hooked. I love the really vintage packaging. They have a great lineup of reds, all inspired by different decades. So there's like a 1920s red, 1930s red, 1940s. So this whole line of red lipstick is just to die for. And the very last step is to set it all with this spray. This is also by Scandinavia. This this is the makeup finishing spray. It keeps everything from fading. It provides 16 hour wear, which is amazing. It is oil free, paraben free, and yeah, it's just really great stuff. <laughs> what can I say? You also have to shake it well and you apply the same way as the makeup primer. So you just do the X and a T. Once again, I love this spray just because it's so lightweight. This one, unlike other setting sprays that I've tried, it doesn't sting my eyes, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel like you just apply a layer of like hairspray, it just feels very lightweight, refreshing too. So I just really like it. This mist is just so fine and it sprays evenly. So yeah, we'll see how my makeup holds on. Now let's go to the fair. So I am finally back from the fair. It is midnight, 12, 13 a.m., quite late. My makeup's still looking pretty good, pretty damn good. So I'm really pleased with the Scandinavia products. The lipstick held up so well, even after eating that waffle and a Dole Whip and also a cinnamon roll later on. <laughs> But yeah, everything held up really, really great. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial slash mini vlog type of thing. If you're new to this channel, take a moment to subscribe by clicking right over here. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!